Hello and welcome to Retro Gaming Banter. In this brief video, I will be showing how to install a pre-built RetroPie image onto your micro SD card, hard drive or SSD. The process is quite easy, but if you have never done it before, it can be a bit daunting. At the end, you get to enjoy some retro games. What's there to lose? Once you have downloaded the RetroPie image files, they may be in an archive format such as .war. You will first need to extract the archive to get an image file. If you do not have an archive extractor, then you can download WinRAR or 7-zip. There are links to both in the description. Right click on the file and depending which software you are using, you will see options to extract the archive. Here they are for both WinRAR and 7-zip. Choose Extract here and it will start to extract the file. Depending on the size of the files and your drive speed, this may take some time. So while you're waiting, check out some more of our videos. Once the extraction process has completed, you should now see a .img file in the same folder. Now you can write the image file to your Raspberry Pi storage. I recommend Alina Etcher for writing images as for me at least it's a bit faster than others and it's also available on Mac and Linux. Connect the Pi storage to your PC and run Etcher in admin mode. Choose flash from file and it will bring up the file browser. Locate and select the image file. Now click on select target. It should hide drives that are your Windows drive for example, but it may not be 100% accurate. You need to select the one that is your micro SD card, hard drive or SSD. It won't be the same name as mine, so check the drive size matches up in particular. Make sure you are 100% sure it is the correct drive. Otherwise, you could end up writing over your main drive, for example. Click on Flash to begin the image flashing process. You will get a warning to ensure you have chosen the correct device. Double and triple check. And if everything is good, click on Yes, I am sure to begin flashing. Depending on the image size and speed of data transfer from your PC to the storage, the image writing may take some time. Just let it write the image and go and watch some more of our videos. Once the process is complete, you can close that chart and safely eject the storage from your PC. You can now connect the storage to your Raspberry Pi and start the first boot. The first time you boot up, the software needs to set up a few things such as resizing the disk partition. The time it takes can depend on the size of your storage. For example, resizing a 256GB partition to 1TB and also the speed of the storage. So just be patient, let it run for 15 minutes or so. It may also reboot the Pi a couple of times in between and then it should boot up to RetroPie with no issues. Future boots will be faster. And the final step, enjoy some retro gaming classics. That wraps up this short video on how to install a RetroPie image. I hope you have found it useful and not got your dick stuck in a toaster. If you did, please like and subscribe to keep up to date with our videos. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.